But yeah, man, it was tough. It was a big day. I think this is a great way to repurpose Slinky's house. I'm hoping that by moving them into this enclosure, they'll be able to, to reignite their love affair. Well, this is it, man. These guys are moving into their new home. Oh, look at that pose. Look at that pose. That is what we're talking about here. This just looks great. The rock iguana on the rock. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. Yo, what's going on, everybody? What a day I've had here today at the old camp, uh, working real hard. Um, as you know, we got Slinky's environment or habitat all set up, which meant his old spot needed a little bit of a refurbishing, if you will, something of a uh, upgrade, because Guapo and Lola are gonna be living in it. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kenneth. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Ross Parnagian. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Here it is. Yeah, here it is, uh, folks. So I went ahead and uh, man, I busted my butt today. I got all this done in one day. The kids helped. Uh, Sophia gets special mention because she really stuck around and helped her old stepdad out. Um, but yeah, we had to bring in, oh my gosh, like 90, I think, or so buckets of soil to kind of bring this up. Um, we turned it into something of a little bit of a different uh, elevation. I like the rocks. There's not gonna be any dirty water anymore. The Cuban iguana is gonna really love this, but I busted my butt. It was a lot, a lot of uh, back and forth, digging a hole and uh, getting it situa situated, you know what I mean? Um, so what's cool about this is they'll be able to lay eggs in here. Hopefully, I'm hoping that by moving them into this enclosure, they'll be able to, to reignite their love affair. Uh, so it's a big move. Let's see. Let's get it going. But um, basically, uh, this is this is what's going to happen. We're just going to let them walk on over here. But um, there's Guapo. Hi, Guapo. Uh, you know, I planted some plants. I mean, it was a really interesting ordeal to get this thing done. You'll notice I just uh, used natural mulch, people. I just went ahead and raked up some ficus and pine leaves and wapai. There they are. They are, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of expensive out there these days buying things. So I'm going to use as many things as I can that I have just laying around. And I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Um, you know, some pine needles. We got them over there. They'll decompose. They'll enrich the soil. Um, but I think this is going to be real cool. Come on, guys. This is your new home. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are welcome here now. You don't have to worry about Slinky. He's moved on. Now, why did I do this, people? because I have to help my buddy uh, Jerry out. Now, even though I'm not, he just sneezed and it went all over me. These guys will sometimes give a sneeze and it gets rid of excess salt in their bodies. They just secrete it through their nose. And strangely, that's exactly what the old uh, marine iguanas do as well. That's how they're able to tolerate the high salinity of the ocean in the, and around the Galapagos Islands. Uh, these guys are so cool. This is it, man. These guys are moving into their new house. This is gonna be your new place there, Lola. What do you think? Yeah, get the sense. Now he's just bobbing his head a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead back over here and close this. So what I was saying is, Jerry's black throats, although they're not gonna, I'm no longer gonna keep them uh, permanently, I am gonna take them while he completes his enclosures. Uh, he's building some really beautiful enclosures, so they are gonna live in here. So I got that done today. I'm gonna get to work in here, just dialing, you know, I gotta move the Chinese box turtles, as you can see, um, because the monitors will definitely eat them. So I'm gonna move those guys, don't know where yet. I mean, I may just put them in here for a little while. I might just add a few more plants and something so they can have this. Maybe I'd put the smaller ones up in there. Um, hey, can't hurt them. Um, but basically that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to clean this all up, change it around a little bit and give the black throat. John is going to live in here. And then the female is going to go into Pinky's old habitat. Uh, just real quick, since we're hanging out with black throats, talking about black throats. How about that guy, Robert Rubino? What's up, Robert? Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone, dude. There he is. Oh, I'm tough. 
I'm the toughest little black throat ever. And he's going to have, uh, well, he's going to have uh, some inspiration in as to what he's going to grow into. There he is, because uh, John, ooh, oh, you're so tough. Watch this when I put my fingers out. Ah, wow, he's so fast. He's so fast. We love him. Anyway, yeah, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be looking down here and thinking, holy smokes, that dude's big because John is a massive black throat. So he'll be here for maybe a month or less, um, possibly longer. I don't know. They'll both be here and we're going to just get them situated. Um, and we're going to fatten up the female, keep them separated. And then when Jerry's ready, we're going to go ahead and put him back, um, at his place. Oh, look at this already eating some of the, uh, weeds I've dug up. So this is neat, man. What do you guys think? I think this is a great way to repurpose Slinky's, uh, um, house we got some cactus in here we got that Daxahatchee brush there little grasses there uh, they can climb up this log to get back up onto this platform and into the shelter uh, they can also climb up this to go on top of that so this to that what do you think I think it's great I think this is gonna be really really cool so um, they're they're gonna just have to get used to it and they're gonna walk around right now and do their thing they've been living on the other side for 17 years can you believe it and i figured hey look let's move them out here maybe they'll start breeding again and also i think it's safer to walk through these guys as opposed to walking through the big black throat you know um so i'd rather just kind of walk through my little little herbivores here are you gonna get a drink of water it's water go ahead oh, i don't know I, I love it man i think she's a really beautiful female I don't know what you guys think, but I think she's just a spectacular, spectacular um, specimen. Love this gal. She's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at her face. She's got such distinct scales under her eyes. The real nice uh, nuchal scoots there, or rather nuchal crest. Um, that's right here. Okay. And then, the, as we know, Cyclora have a break in the spines between their neck and body and their body and tail. So, very cool. That's how you can identify them as Cyclora iguanas, as well as having that circular tail. But I've had these guys 17 years. They've been living out here. Um, I love them very, very much. Um, these are some very cool lizards. Oh, look, she's going to have a little drink. Good girl. There you go. Get a little cool, crisp water. She puts her head down to the cool, crisp, clean water. And then, bam, the male just tries to scare her. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you saying? What do you smell? Where are you going? Are you excited? What's over there? Do you see another lizard? Oh, the blue iguanas are over there. Maybe he caught wind of one. I don't know. Something got him going. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Look at this. The other male is right there somewhere. He was, there he is bobbing. He be bobbing. Bobbing and weaving. What are you doing, dude? Take it easy. Maybe this will actually get uh this guy fired up because he sees other males and maybe he'll uh you know decide i gotta breed my gal if these other guys are challenging me so look at this they're both gonna have a drink look at her drinking up so cute what are you doing there guapo you're also going to be able to see the rhinoceros iguanas and then that's what i was thinking uh guys is once the um monitor goes home once john goes back to my buddy Jerry's, I can then take some of the rhino iguanas uh, that need a larger enclosure and I'll put them in a larger enclosure. So I think that'll be cool. This will be the iguana, the iguana cage with the iguana enclosure. It's very cool. She's really thirsty. Go ahead. Lap it up. Nice and cool. Just filled it up for you. And he's just wandering around eating all the dead weeds. <laughs> Look at how funny he is. Eating the dead weeds that I had um, scraped up here. Pretty good stuff. I love this guy. Guapo has been with me for so long. So is Lola. They are two of my favorite animals here at the camp because they're really, um, they're my dogs, man. These guys are so tame. Never been bit, never attempted to bite. Raised them up since they were children, since they were tiny little juveniles. And um, I just think that these are my favorite Cyclora. They are just super tame, super beautiful. Look at this guy. Wait until he figures out he can go up. Let's see if you, oh look, you wanna go back to your old spot? That's it, dude, it's over. You're in here now. You're in here now, man. This is good. Go check out the other side. You can go on, uh, go ahead. Yeah, let's see you get up there. Show everyone how uh, nimble you can be. 
Mr. Rock Iguana. These guys are uh, terrestrial, but they do climb rocks and they can climb, uh, you know, to certain heights. But if you're setting things up for them to climb, you got to make sure it's wide enough because they're not as agile. Oh, look at that pose. Look at that pose. That is what we're talking about here. Yes. Look at that. I think the looks good on that uh, rock that I sculpted years ago. I think this is cool, man. Look at this place. What do you think, Wapo? You think you like it? What do you think, buddy? You got a lot of dirt to dig in. I think he's going to like it. There's a reason I call him Mr. Handsome. That is a good looking lizard. Go ahead, buddy. Now these guys can live about 50 years in captivity. So 17 years old, still got more than, ooh, more than half his life to come. Very good. All right. So he's going to wander around in here and you see what's going on. But I was thinking, you know, this could be a cool spot that I could raise up, you know, when I get my hatchling turtles or tortoises, rather, I could raise them up to a size to where they won't eat them. And I could put them in here because believe it or not, they will nosh on tiny little baby turtles. So you got to be careful. Here she comes. Let's see what she's going to do. Is she going to come up here? Are you going to come up here? They're like, wait a minute. I don't know. This is a little different, Dad. Come on. She's going to go the same way he went, I think. No problem. No. Oh, there you go. Pull yourself up. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, is this just the coolest, guys? I love these lizards. Super cool. Such a uh, pleasure to work with these two. Oh, look at this. She's, oh, look at this. She's going to be tough already. You're going to take charge already. And they'll be able to see the rhino iguanas over there too. Wow. They are awesome. So for me, the big excitement I get now with these reptiles is basically giving them just really spacious and enriching enclosures. That's what I'm all about. I'm so passionate about it. And um, uh, again, this just looks great. The rock iguana on the rock. Very, very cool. I wonder if they'll ever nibble on this cactus. I'm hoping they'll leave it alone so it can grow up real tall. Um, but right now, here's the Petra and Petra right there. You can see them through there and then Guapo just kind of keeping an eye on these guys. I'll probably rig up a sprinkler system right here or actually right there I can put a little sprinkler on and pssst, it'll spray water on everything when we need it. Now you can see all your buddies, man. And then like I said, when John is uh, moved back to his house. I'll be able to take the two rhino iguanas that are over by the pond and I'll bring them over here. So all my cyclora will be in this uh, vicinity, which will be nice. Pretty psyched on that. So uh, now that I've been, I've gotten Slinky's enclosure completely done, I'm able now to focus on so many things that I wanted to get done here at the camp to make it look better and be better for our animals. Uh, there she goes. I am thinking this is going to be a winning situation, man. Loving the fact that these guys are taken to this. I mean, it's not that big of a move, but you never know. When you move animals, it could be 10 feet or 10 miles. Um, it could possibly throw things off. But what I'm hoping... Oh, look at this. Look at that. Little interaction. Now, that's our female. That's Petra. And she really went after Lola right there. Hmm. Look at this, yeah. See, because these two have been in this area for a long time and they're not used to seeing the cyclora on this side. But these two, like, she's just so chill, Lola. She's like, whatever, why are you being a spazoid? Yeah, so cool. Let's see. This, oh, this, this cement is not quite hard. I really moistened it, so. I filled in some crevices that I thought they might be able to dig into and get under the rock. But maybe they'll leave a little, um, they're going to leave a little bit of their uh, claw prints, which I think, or claw prints rather, which I think will be cool. A lot of action, huh, Petra? They'll calm down soon enough. All right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. 
A little fossil, a little fossil for us. Not so bad. What do you think there, Lola? It's so funny to see my female rhino so aggro about this whole thing. But again, look at how chill they are. No issues at all. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. That was some interesting stuff. I wonder, you know, I don't think I'm going to leave this so they can see each other for a little while. But what I'll then do if it gets too crazy or if I notice that this doesn't abate, I can easily just put some kind of bamboo up to kind of give them a visual block. But um, for the moment, I'm really not worried about it. They're going to have to just get used to each other here. Oh, very strange. They're very territorial, Cyclora. What's that? What do you think's going on, buddy? Are these two nutties or what? Now, you know what else is interesting? Is they never did this with Slinky. But they know that these are a similar species as they are. And, and just, she doesn't even care. But again, this could also work out to my benefit because the last time I got babies from Guapo and Lola was like 10 years ago. So I'm hoping that maybe this kind of um, interaction will get Guapo fired up again and make him want to breed his female. So we'll see. This definitely can't hurt them. There's no way they can hurt each other. But I'm loving it. There you go. There you go there, buddy. Now they're probably going to follow Guapo over here. We got to let them work it out. These guys have been in this side for a very long time. So they're just not used to this. Guys, do you see down below his legs? Do you see the femoral paw pores right here? These long little scales. These are femoral paw pores. <laughs> I can't say it. Pores. And um, they're larger on males. The females don't have as large pores. You can see it's on the cy all cyclora and even on green iguanas. Hers aren't so big. Awesomeness. Oh, here's a little, a little bear area. Didn't quite get it. But yeah, man, it was tough. It was a big day. So we filled this up. I had to uh, secure this ledge. The, the beam right there needed some securing. Got the logs up, we spread out all the mulch, got the water going, and that's it. I mean, this is gonna be a really cool habitat for these guys. And I'm hoping you guys will join me as we continue to watch them get used to this place and become more and more at home on this side of their enclosure. So very, very cool. Let's see if this experiment works and we do in fact wind up getting baby cuban iguanas i think that would be awesome guys like i said it's been about 10 years since we've had them and i really love guapo and lola i think they're the best pet lizards ever they're so good and uh we're just gonna spoil them and get them the best food and all the space they need to see how these guys will do so there you have it man we did it a big day today at the camp i know these two are a little bit unhappy about it but you gotta work it out kids you gotta work it out can't we just all get along? Can't we? I think we can. All right, everyone, there you go. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, seeing what I've been up to. So much more to come. We gotta now dial that in, get the big black throats over here, get the female into Pinky's old enclosure. And of course, we're still gonna always be fixing and evolving and changing things around as the animals need it. So guys, thank you so much. It was a really fun day today. We worked real hard on this, so uh, I'm happy. I like getting things done. All right, everyone, have a great week, wherever you may be, and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and uh, why don't you comment below and let me know what you think of the enclosure. Talk to you soon.